I'm busy working on this student database. I've started a new iteration of this application because I want to make it more robust and actually larger to include modules and the ability for more users to use it and obviously have it connect, uh, connected to a proper database. But I just did something here that I thought was nice and I just wanted to make a short video showing what I did. So basically I am busy making the outline or the, the menu, the main menu page of the database and for this section here um, showing the options that the user can select instead of writing each one out by, uh, by placing the position of the cursor on the screen and then typing or printing out a specific um, word for example um, instead of printing out something like the first option is attendance instead of doing that I just created a for loop I put all those headings in a vector which means in the future if I want to be able to edit the main menu section uh, from the application then you can just add another module to the vector or yeah another string to the vector so basically I'm just going through each string in the vector and then printing that out on the screen so uh, the size of the vector that's how many times the for loop goes around this go to xy function I defined it here this basically just tells the uh, computer where to put the uh, print and then every time it iterates it goes one one road lower because obviously you need each option to be one row under the next and then it basically prints out the number obviously I uh, the I started zero so I plus one which would go one two three then the pointer and then it prints out each instance or each string in the vector so that was a much quicker way instead of having to print out go to XY and then see out or puts um, and that seemed a lot easier so that's I'm, I'm busy with this now and I just did that so I thought I'd make a quick video